Rated G. What's up guys, it's the Middle Age Game where we're continuing on with our quick walkthrough guide for Transport Fever 2. We are on the Chapter 1 campaign and we're going to be doing the Highlands and Islands mission next. Quick disclaimer, we are doing things as quickly and efficiently as possible and as least complex as possible. Doesn't mean that I'm doing what you should do if you want to take your time with the mission then feel free to go ahead and take the extra time, make more complex truck routes, train routes, whatever you have to do. This is just going to be a quick guide on how to get all the bonus tasks and the mission tasks completed relatively quickly. So let's go ahead and continue the campaign. Mankind and we're again, Highlands and Islands. Let's go ahead and start it up. In the midst of the Victorian era, the industrial city of Glasgow is bursting at the seams. The factories are working full blast, but the competition is not sleeping. In terms of economic issues, the countries in continental Europe... And, you know, if, you, if you're if you playing this the first time, listening to Scotland, everything would be great. The shipyard... You know, I don't necessarily need to do that on this coal particular and mission. Coal are available in abundance in the areas around Glasgow. So here's coal, and here's iron furnace. ore. And we gotta deliver it to the steel, um, steelworks in Glasgow, which is right here at Glasgow Steelworks. So to do this, and again, there's multiple ways you can do this. I'm going to build roads and truck stops. You could use trains, but to me that's not necessary on this particular mission, at least not at this moment in time. I'm going to actually use just the regular road. And we'll bring this out. I don't want to build a tunnel, so let's do this. Oh, I don't want that either. Go. We gotta be careful when building the road sometimes. And then we'll connect this to the city as well. I don't know if we ever have to connect that, but let's go ahead and do that just in case. And then we can upgrade these little bits of road if we need to. So next thing we need is basically uh, truck stations. Let's go ahead and do that. And there's multiple ways to do this. You could use a truck stop to deliver each items over. And I think I'll do that for the time being. I think I'm going to use a truck station because we're going to have to be basically moving still out of here at some point. But I'm going to go ahead and put a truck stop here. And I'm going to put a truck stop here. And we can always get rid of a truck stop and add it to the truck station if we need to. So we need two lines. This one is super short. And next one will be the iron ore delivery. go and next thing we need is basically a road depot so we can buy the trucks and send them out I'm gonna go ahead and put one right eh, let me switch it on to this side just in case we have to add a train line down the road I want to try to keep things out of the way if needed so we only have one option to carry goods as of right now let's go ahead and buy 20 and this is probably going to be overkill. What I'm going to do is send out five at a time and see how things go. First one will be on the coal delivery. Next one will be on the iron ore delivery. Set time to fast, 4x. And we're going to use this truck station to eventually move the still to wherever it needs to go whether it's downtown Glasgow or whatever it tells us to do I haven't played this mission in a while so we'll see what happens I'm gonna go ahead and send five more to the iron ore bit of overkill. We'll see what happens. I don't know why they're going through the truck station. 
Uh, I guess they're turning around in there either way. Let me see. Yeah, it looks like they're still turning around in there, which is not what I wanted. And in fact, if I get rid of that, let's see what happens to the line. There we go. That's what I wanted. I can add a truck station over here in a minute. So let's let them deliver the coal and iron ore. I'm gonna add a few more to the coal line here. The shipyards crave steel for colossal tubs. The bigger the better. But it doesn't get there all so we got to deliver it to the industrial area of Glasgow. So what we need is a truck stop, and you can see what's needed. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the land use layer just to make sure, and we will deliver it to. It's going to come up this road. Let's see, up this road. We'll probably connect it right here and deliver it right there. Let's go ahead and connect this road right there things a little bit quicker for the trucks. So next we need a truck station. And I really want to, I don't want these guys to turn around in there. Hopefully this will avoid any trucks turning around in there. And it keeps them out of the way of this line and this line. Set the new line for still delivery to Glasgow. And we'll just go ahead and name it truck. Still. Glasgow, still delivery. Hopefully I'm spelling everything correctly. And road depot's right there, which is what we need. And this does transport still as well. Let's go ahead and put 10 on the line. Might be overkill at the start, but we'll be all right. And we should start seeing still be delivered to the Glasgow Exchange truck station right there. Another way to check is, there we go, so projections ramping up and shipments ramping up, which is what we want. There we go, I see the boxes being picked up right there. And let's see, if these guys have anything, so let's go ahead and, I always like to reverse some vehicles if they don't have any still on board. Just because it's a waste of their trip going all the way down. Even though it's not that far. Okay, everybody else has some still of borders is what we want. We might add another 10 to this line, but let's just make sure things are going smoothly. We definitely need to add more to the iron ore line. Again, you could run trains both directions down to the still works, but it's not really needed. We're already up to 5 of 10 delivery on the still. Coal looks like it's getting out pretty quickly now. Yeah, so it's relatively low on supply. Iron ore is relatively high, so I'm glad I added more to that line. Your deliveries of high quality steel. All right. Every ship needs a harbor. Your venture needs a particularly good one. So now we're adding ships into the game. Again, this is kind of a, a tutorial still. We need to add a cargo harbor. So let's go ahead and do that and connect it. Let's see, I want to connect it to the street if I can. There we go. Help to build a shipyard so that it won't be long before you can call a beautiful ship your own. Next would be the shipyard that we need. Buy a stately boat that will sail you safely through the wild waters of the Western Isles on your daring expedition. I don't know which. I'm just going to go and get the small one. I don't think we need the big one for any reason. Explore the Western Isles to obtain whiskey for the city. 
And let's go ahead and set up a new line. It wants to establish a route to the Port Ellen Harbor, which is up here. And back down here. Boat, and that will be... Distillery up there. Industry is buzzing. Thanks to your sir. Build a railroad in the wild west of the highlands so that this remote stretch of land finally experiences the blessings of modern civilization. Uh, I guess it's whiskey is what we're doing right that's what it looks like so it's strictly delivering whiskey is what it sounds like so got a couple things going steam up the harbor that's going right now next step is connecting Fort William which is right here it says build a passenger station at each of Glasgow and Fort William and use tracks to connect the station okay so let's see we're going to have to cut in front of there, which I don't want to do, but we're going to have to, it looks like. Let's go ahead and do what it says. We need a passenger terminus station. Let's see, passenger terminus station right there. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these two buildings right here. There we go. And we'll put one over in Fort William. Go ahead and do, I want to do as close to the center as possible. There we go. And then let's connect the two. Just need to be a little careful on where we're building the actual tracks. And unfortunately it's gonna run through the coal delivery. I didn't want to do, but that's fine. Supply the city of Glasgow with workers none the worse for wear who haven't fallen victim to the union's pipe dreams yet. Going to connect this. to set up a train line. I don't know if it really matters which These train. Days, big landowners, fleecy balls of wool do this. now graze where families of farmers once cultivated their patches. Lady McDougall asks for help. She wants to know if all her little sheep are still together. We'll work on the bonus task here in just a minute once we set up this passenger train route. I'm gonna call it the Glasgow Passenger Route. You can name it whatever you want. Help with accounting. And look to see if all the sheep are still there. Let's click on a few of the question marks. The and it just says make noise to wake them up again. All the counting. And I think we just have to bulldoze some things. I remember, right? I'll find out here in a second. Yeah, just pull those three boulders anywhere near the city is all you gotta do for the first bonus task right there. And so next step would be to build basically bus stations in each town. It's not asking for us to do it at this moment, but we do want to transport people and make money. So we want to get people to the bus station. So if we get time, we'll go ahead and work on that. And let's do the bus stops first, but I need to know land use layer first. So I want one by the bus station, obviously. And we'll just make a couple more throughout town. It's a rel relatively big city. It's plenty, we'll make a road depot. Somewhere out of the way. I could use the one we already have, but go to make another one. And let's go ahead and set up a new line. 
Very basic bus line here. Okay, Glasgow bus route, and we'll buy just, I guess, probably five or six for the time being. Again, I don't know if this is really needed for this particular mission. We're still waiting for the whiskey to come back, and I'm sure it's going to tell us to do something along with once we transport 20 people, it will tell us to do something else on the task list. Go ahead and try to set up a bus route for this section if we get time. Again, we want one by the train station and it's good right there put it in another road depot over here and we'll go ahead and set the new line I forgot the name of the town so Fort William I always go back and change it to bus route. There we go. Again, we'll buy a few vehicles to transport passengers. Fort William bus route. There we go. Both cities are set up. We transported six people so far, and the bus route will only increase the amount of people that are able to get to the passenger train station. So that's good. You can see it's still starting to pile up. 32 there. I may add two or three vehicles to that. Actually, I'll just do five. Make it easy. And that will be the Glasgow still delivery. The transport's going up, which is good. Production is looking pretty good as well pretty consistent. I can always increase this line which basically increase the production of the Steelworks mill right there but it's not really needed. Oop. So we have a problem with this. I didn't see that. What's the problem? have an issue. Let me figure out what it is real quick. Maybe this needs a truck station to hold stuff? I don't know. I need to reset up where this is at. Maybe the ship doesn't carry. Hang on. Let's look at the actual ship that we're using. Where is the boat route at? There it is. If we go to buy a vehicle, so no, it can carry whiskey. So what's the problem? I'm gonna reset this up. I don't know what that what it's saying the line is going back and forth but it's not delivering any whiskey so I want to delete this and restart over so this is a harbor for cargo ships which is what we needed we will go ahead and put it over here this time and we're gonna fix the line with the boat hopefully there we go Okay, so that the new workers from the looks like it's working properly. No errors. I don't know what the error was, but good mood. Plunge into the wonderful world of spirits. Thanks to your supply, no one will be left high and Okay, dry. so the boat line's set up, which means basically whiskey is going to be stocked here at the port, and it will be brought down to Glasgow Central. So we need to make basically a truck station right here. 
Although it may be able to store it there, but without fail, some of the whiskey oddly disappears. Either way, like a truck station just across from the that it evaporates out port of the there. Open seas. Is it the legendary angel share? Okay, I'll work on the bonus task here in just a second once we get this set up. So it wants us to deliver 25 whiskey to the commercial area of Glasgow. So pretty easy. Just open up the land use layer, and we need to add a truck stop to right here. You can see it. You can basically see they're all wanting whiskey in this area. So just one truck stop right here. We'll do all that we need, and then we'll set up a new line. And I guess we could have gone from the port to there, but I'm gonna do this truck stop because it will get the uh, stuff from the port, and we're gonna drop it off at that truck stop. So this will be truck Glasgow whiskey delivery and then we'll just put a couple of I guess I could use either depot doesn't really matter five vehicles let's go ahead and put ten on the line that will be the whiskey delivery all right so now this should be stocking up with the whiskey since we have the line fully set up where is the boat at let's go ahead and reverse the boat there we go so now you can see it's starting to stock up since we have the line fully developed, it knows, hey, now we can get whiskey from here to somewhere that we're selling. You can see the boxes stacking up. Let's go ahead and work on the bonus task right here, the ferryman's wages, except... A ship sails through the locks of the Inner Hebrides, rolling from side to side in peculiar curves. Word has it that cheerful singing coming from the steamer was heard on shore. Captain Klein says the ferrymen are very poorly paid. So they might have occasionally treated themselves to a sip from the car. That just won't do, of course. If at all, then they ought to get drunk like self-respecting people do it. Inside a good pub where it's So nice this wants to deliver cozy. whiskey to the pub right there. So with that being said, we can set up a second line out of this truck station down to this new truck stop just outside the pub. We'll deliver it there. And Honestly, if you delivered it right there, it'd probably give some to the pub, but just for the sake of doing this and doing it as quick as possible, we're going to have it go directly to the outside of the pub, so there's no ifs, ands, or buts of what that is. Truck, and it's going to be the Glasgow Whiskey Pub Delivery. Oh. I don't know if you can see. Will it show everything? Uh, not really, it kind of cuts it off, but that's fine, not a big deal. And again, for that, it doesn't matter which road depot we use, let's go ahead and buy it out of this one. And we'll put, I don't know, five on that line to the pub. Alright, so that line's set up. Both of the whiskey lines are set up, which is our next task. And we do have 22 whiskey on the boat. I'm going to go ahead and buy one more boat and we will set it up for the same line and if it comes down I'll go ahead and reverse it. Hopefully it goes north. Okay, looks like it's going north so we're good. So nothing will really happen until this boat gets down to the harbor right here. And what will happen is you'll see the whiskey get delivered here. These trucks will pick it up and deliver it both to the pub and to the, um, the commercial sector of Glasgow right there. There you go, you can see all the whiskey that was just delivered. And you can see there's two going to the pub, and there's ten going to the other truck stop that we have for the commercial sector of Glasgow. It's almost already all picked up, so I'm glad I ordered 
another boat, so we have two running back and forth. You could technically add a third or fourth one with the amount of money that we have. But our earnings are doing pretty good. You know, you don't have to worry about making money. You have 44 million to work with. So even if you were negative one, two, three million uh, per year, however it calculates it, you're definitely fine in the main account. Passing a route looks like it's doing good. As they say around here. Lately, people. All right, so we did make the pub delivery good. We're just gonna have to deliver 25 whiskey to the other truck stop. We got 20 so far. Hopefully, we get 25. If not, we're gonna have to wait until this other boat gets down. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to wait, which is fine. A lot of people waiting for the Glasgow bus route, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some more passenger vehicles on that. This will be on the Glasgow bus route. Let's see how the other route's doing. This one's doing all right. A lot more people in Glasgow from the looks of it. Still's doing good. A lot of coals backed up. Let me look at the iron ore. Same with iron ore, but it's consistent. We're delivering more than enough steel for the time being, so I'm gonna leave that as is. We've got a lot of trucks running back and forth anyways. And look at the people lined up there. Jesus. Is that the industrial section? It is, yeah. 22 whiskey delivered. We have a boat, a completely full boat, 70 coming down which is nice oh look at our earnings we're already in the positive which is good too definitely like that there you can see how they allocated the delivery between the pub and the commercial sector right there and we'll tick off this mission here in just a second. Let's see what the next stop is. I do see a fishery out there, so we're probably gonna have to do something like that in the mission later on. In fact, I think we, I don't know if we do it with the train line or how we do it, but I know it's coming up. Making good money too. And we got even more whiskey coming in. Cheers everybody that's out there you can comment below if you made it to this section I'm drinking whiskey as well so this is definitely my mission man look at the amount of passengers and everything it's crazy throats are well lubricated all over but on an empty stomach the water of life makes people anything so we got to build a cargo station at the fishery and use tracks to connect it to Glasgow. All right, so I'll do the same thing I did in the last mission, which I think would be the easiest, is we're going to use the same station. The vehicle's available, it doesn't really matter. If we can, go ahead and configure it. And we're going to actually add a cargo platform, if we can, on this side. And then we're going to add tracks. So it's going to be a passenger and a cargo station. Of course, they're on separate tracks. And next up, I'm going to make a... we got to get through this town. It's the only problem. I'm going to make a cargo terminus station at the, the fishery up here. And hopefully we can run tracks through this town coming down here. It's a whole line of buildings getting removed, but sometimes you have to do that to make progress. And we'll just run it along the lines of this passenger route. And we're doing things as basic as possible. You could use the same track, but we have plenty of money. There's really no reason to try to save money in this particular scenario. There we go. And then we do need to connect. I'm just gonna do this this time to get the train on the right track down here. Got to deliver 25 fish. Let's go ahead and buy a vehicle. 
don't need anything fancy. And then we'll add some box carts to there. This will hold 20, 28. So what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm actually gonna buy the train. I'm gonna set a new line, but I'm gonna do something pretty interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and click here. And before I do that, I wanna wait till the train's full. I wanna make the unlimited time until it's full. Let's see, something didn't work out. What happened? Fort Williams West. Let's see, did it work or no? I think once he gets into the station, this train should release. If it doesn't, I'll have to make a separate platform to get over there. I'm going to have to modify that train to add more passengers, too. There we go. I could have put signals up, but there's really no need to. It just seems to get on this track the first time. There we go. So, next bonus task. Let's go ahead and see what it wants us to do. Modify the carriage route and let it drive along the secret form. Okay, so it is right here. So the solution is really written in the stars, is the clue they give you. So what it wants you to do, and this is really kind of a tutorial, is it wants you to modify the route that it's on, which is this route right here. We're going to go ahead and get rid of everything. And we're going to make it into just basically a star pattern is all we're doing. There we go. And it should correct the route that it's on. And that should beat that particular mission. So let's just make sure. Okay, so I think it's restarting now. There it goes. Good on that. Getting quite a bit more people. I'm going to go ahead and modify this train to add more passengers if I can. capacity a little bit bigger. There we go. You can see it doesn't have to go back into the depot, which is nice. So what I did down here is I made this train stay here until it's completely full. You don't have to do that, but I'd rather just knock out the delivery fish in one go around and have it going back and forth and wasting more time. You can see we beat the secret that bonus mission right there have a lot of whiskey that needs to get transported this would probably be a time where you would add boats you would add probably more passenger buses or buggies to transport passengers you could increase the production of the still you can do all sorts of things right now but we're just following the, the task list that it the wants Atlantic us to do leap happily into the nets all on their own Thanks to the railroad, the merchandise is even still fresh when it arrives in town. Still mill off to the left. Passenger slash cargo uh, station here in Glasgow. Thanks to your efforts, that's it, guys. The industrial that's all the bonus tasks really and the uh, entire mission completed. The factories are supplied with inexpensive Again, labor. that's the quickest way to do that particular mission. You can make things a lot more complicated City if you Council wanted to. Is grateful, but, is but that's a very, very straightforward way to do things. You should be knighted. What an awesome. Let me get, I hate the guys it's talking. The it just, of the it gets annoying century. after a while. Man there we go much better um, again that's the quickest way to do things you can do things much differently you could spend another hour on that scenario you know customizing things making things better making it all train routes uh, but that's the fastest way to do it if you have any questions as far as if you can't figure something out or the video didn't help you in a certain section let me know in the comment section below and I'll definitely try to answer you as soon as possible if you haven't already, please, please subscribe. Hit the like up button on this video. It definitely helps me out as far as making more videos in the future. Anyways, it's the Middle Age Gamer, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.
Thank you.